Welcome to WPXI.com, your home on the World Wide Web. I'm Albie Oxenrider, and we're continuing our previews of high school football teams with a look at the Beaver Falls Tigers. Hey, Beaver Falls, great tradition. The uh, the alma mater, of course, of Joe Namath, and uh, a school with some very, uh, very much success uh, over the last few years. Last year, Beaver Falls made it to the uh, the finals in the Whitfield before losing to Jeanette. They can't too, uh, feel too bad about that. Jeanette, obviously, a a very very good team uh, but it's all about potential uh, filling potential carry over from that team well there's about six or seven starters offensively six or seven starters defensively returning uh, so there's some experience but there are some guys that have to step up now uh, last year's junior class provided a lot of leadership now they step into their senior seasons trying to uh, get Beaver Falls back to familiar territory lofty expectations here but that's okay Beaver Falls fuels it uh, they feel as if uh, the talent is there, the size is there on the line, the talent is there at the skill positions. It's just a matter of letting it play out and letting the team get better. Coach Metzuk told me that that's the key, uh, getting better each day, getting better each game, and developing these kids uh, to, to get back where they want to be, which is uh, obviously in the playoffs and beyond. Uh, a team with, as I said, very lofty expectations, but that's okay. They're, they're used to it here. It, it starts off in a difficult way. On the road with Riverside, uh, not only a great rivalry, but a rematch of last year's Whippeal semifinal game. Uh, but Beaver Falls feels good with some guys back from a team that uh, has proven it can win. At Beaver Falls High School for WPXI.com, I'm Albie Oxenrider, and thank you for joining us on the World Wide Web.